the fictional universe of the Star Trek canon, which evolved out of the 1966–69 TV series Star Trek, is a vast complex of planets, organizations, and peoples that together comprise an example of the science fiction practice of worldbuilding. R Rachelis, Enterprise D transports plasma plague samples to the Rachelis system. Ram Azad, planet captain Picard says holds the last missing DNA fragment to throw off the Kardashians in their hunt for the genetic secret of the origin of humanoid species. Rakal, planet in Cardassian space with a secret underground base located on its fourth moon. Rakela Prime, homeworld of the Voxa species. Raka, planet where Odo transports a Rakari prisoner. Rakosa V, Delta Quadrant planet, home of the Rakosian species. The planet was mistaken by the Cardassian dreadnought missile as the planet Ashalan V. The missile was destroyed by the USS Voyager before it could impact the planet where it would have killed over two million inhabitants. Ramatus III, home of the deaf mute negotiator Rivers, Ramazad homeworld, planet in the Delta Quadrant located near Krenum space. In an alternate timeline, the entire Ramazad species was erased from history by a Krenum temporal superweapon, Ramura, homeworld of the Ramurian species, Rana IV, also called Delta Rana. Rana IV is planet with three moons whose Federation colony was wiped out by the Husnik species, Ranus Vi, ENs. Sonia Gomez, newly assigned to the Enterprise, mentions that she might have been assigned to duty on Ranus Vi, Ranza V, planet mentioned for its frozen drink called Darmok, Rata III, the Vendorian impersonating interplanetary trader Carter Winston forced Captain Kirk to take the Enterprise to Rata III, a planet in the Romulan neutral zone, on star date 5148, regular, a once lifeless planetoid until Federation scientists used it as a testing ground for the Genesis experiments, Regulac IV, Cardassian planet destroyed by Dominion forces, Regulus, star system with three inhabited planets, Regulus III, IV and V. Regulus III has Starfleet Academy facilities. Regulus V is the home of giant eel birds that return after 11 years to the cavern where they hatch to mate. Rainer Viracarg Saronia, the Enterprise D takes a mediator to this planet that is homeworld to both the Rakarg and Saronian people. Relva 7, a Mars like planet possibly Class K with a Federation base on the surface. Starfleet Academy also has a campus here which Wesley Crusher tried to gain acceptance into, Remel Vi, planet whose natives spin a crystalline webbing and use it as a building material. In 2371, Odo's criminal report speaks of a group of Norsecan thieves break into a museum there, Remus, the tide-locked companion of Romulus and home of the Reman species who have been enslaved by the Romulans. It, alongside Romulus, was destroyed by the Hobus supernova, Radaris, former Klingon-controlled planet, annexed by neighboring alien culture who later abandons it, Randoran, homeworld of the Randorite species, Rimus Major, planet of which various locales were simulated by Quark's first Holosuite programs, Rigel E. Regal III, Geordi mentions that he has been living on Rigel III 25 years after leaving the Enterprise. Rigel IV, homeworld of Mr. Hengist, the chief city administrator at Argelius II, and also of the mass murderer of women known as Boratus. Loaxana Troy mentions that an astronomer from Rigel IV once named a star after her. Mentioned as the site of a trill-operated refinery, Rigel Vrigel VII, located in the Beta Orionis A system. The planet was visited by the USS Enterprise before the events in the Cage. A conflict between the landing party, under Captain Christopher Pike's command, and the Kayla killed three crew members, including the captain's yeoman, and severely injured seven others. The matte painting of the Rigel 7 fortress seen in Pike's Telosian Illusion was later reused as Flint's home in Requiem for Methuselah. Note, the true Rigel star is not in this system.
Rigel X Rigel 12, the location of a dilithium mining colony where the conman Harcourt Fenton Mudd strikes a deal with the lonely miners to trade his women for dilithium, Renax, formerly populated moon of Talix and home of Neelix. All life was destroyed by the Harkonian Metrian Cascade invented by Dr. Jetrel, Reza, also called Epsilon Seti B2, located about 88.2 light years from Earth, known for its beauty and relaxing tropical atmosphere. It is a world commonly sought by interstellar vacationers and starship crews on shore leave. The planet orbits several stars and its climate is controlled by a weather modification network, with the natural climate being extremely violent. Rizians are extremely open and will freely share their planet, and even themselves, with vacationers, a practice known as Jamaharon. Perhaps uncoincidentally, the name given to the fun-loving planet is also the Spanish word for laughter and phonetically remotely similar to the German word Rees, which translates as travel or trip. Some episodes set on Risa include Captain's Holiday, Let He Who Is Without Sin, and Two Days and Two Nights. In the Captain's Holiday episode, the Enterprise is shown orbit over Australia at the 10 o'clock time code. Ravos V, Delta Quadrant planet known for its Zoth Nut soup, Rockany 3, planet visited by CMDR. Benjamin Sisko and Curzon Dax, who were cornered by hostile aliens on the surface, Romulus, the home planet of the Romulan people and the capital world of the Romulan Star Empire. Romulus shares its orbit with a binary companion Remus. It, alongside Remus, was destroyed by the Hobus supernova. Romulan defector Admiral Jarok described Romulus as a planet with awesome beauty. Romulus was colonized by Vulcans fleeing their homeworld thousands of years ago, Renara Prime, planet in the Cardassian DMZ. Ensign Rolaren was sent on a covert mission to infiltrate Marquis Rebel Cell hiding there, Rondak 3, planet within Cardassian space used by the Dominion as a cloning facility, Russo V, planet with an unusual asteroid ring that sparkles with colored energy bursts which likewise creates music-like tones in the planet's atmosphere. Wesley Crusher shows a holodeck simulation of the rings to Salia, Ruhr IV, one of the planets visited by Dr. Galen in his search for DNA clues to the origin of humanoid races, Rubicon III, a utopian planet visited by the USS Enterprise D whose inhabitants, the Edo, are watched over by powerful dimensional entities they worship as their god, Renara IV, planet with a chasm colony. A member of a rival Kazan set planned to attack the colony by hijacking the USS Voyager, Rura Penthi, a frozen Klingon-controlled planet which contained a penal colony, known for its harsh conditions and dilithium mines. Captain Jonathan Archer along with his attorney Kolos, were sentenced by a Klingon tribunal to work in the planet's dilithium mines for the rest of Archer's life and for one year, respectively, until Archer was rescued by his crew. Captain Kirk and Dr. McCoy were imprisoned there after their sentencing for the murder of Klingon Chancellor Gorkin. The planet is named after a Siberian penal colony in War and Peace. It is also the name of the penal colony that Captain Nemo and his crew escaped from and avenged in the 1954 double Oscar-winning film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea 1954 film. Rusha IV, non-affiliated homeworld of the Rushan and Ansata species located in Federation space. In 2366 the Enterprise-D drops off medical supplies there. S Sakari homeworld, Delta Quadrant planet, fourth from its unnamed sun, visited by Voyager. 
It is inhabited by the secretive Sakari people who went underground to avoid detection by the Borg, Sakura Prime, planet under the control of the dictator Sural, known for beheading his rivals as well as his own parents, Saltok IV, former Federation colony world annexed into the Cardassian DMZ where colonists battled with Cardassian forces, Salva II, Federation colony annexed to the Cardassian DMZ, Samran's planet, planet where Lieutenant Worf and his former love interest K. Elia first met each other in 2359, Serona 8, recreational planet, Sarpaedon, also known as Beta Niobe this class M planet was visited by the USS Enterprise in 2269 hours before its star, Beta Niobe, went supernova. The Enterprise crew discovered that the natives of the world had escaped their fate by time traveling to their world's past, using a time travel device called an Atavacron, Sarpaedon V, heavily fortified headquarters planet of the Cardassian 12th Order military division. It is not in the same system as Sarpaedon as that system was destroyed in 2269, Sarthong V, homeworld of the Sarthongians, and rich in archaeological ruins that Vash considered exploring after parting ways with Picard. Vash returns from the world with Q Saturn, Sol Vi. The Borg cube passed Saturn on its way to Earth, Sauria, homeworld of the Saurian species. They are known for their popular Saurian brandy served in a characteristic curved bottle. Captain. Picard says that he once traded a bottle of old Saurian brandy for a rare Gaul and prayer stick, Skalos, a strange planet outside Federation territory that was visited by the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. The Scalosian inhabitants have a hyper-accelerated Physical existence and move at a faster rate of time, Secarus IV, planet where the infamous criminal known only as the Albino, responsible for attacks against the Klingons, resides in a private fortress, Cephala Prime, planet near Draylon II, Soleil, one of two inhabited planets in the Beta Rena system. It is home of the cobra-headed Soleil species who were at war with their sister planet Antica. Both worlds wished to join the Federation. The Enterprise D transported delegates to difficult peace negotiations on Parliament, Selic IV, Delta Quadrant Planet, site of a gambling tournament, Selenia Prime, Delta Quadrant Planet mentioned to have a militaristic humanoid race that waged a brutal war with neighboring species. Tom Paris and Neelix meet con artists posing as clerics from the planet, Sentinel Minor IV, destination of the USS Lalo which was destroyed en route by a Borg cube headed for Sector 001, Septimize Minor, destination of the colony ship SS Artemis which disappeared, eventually landing on Tau Cygna V Septimus III, planet that was headquarters of the Cardassian 11th Order military division. During the Dominion War, it was attacked and conquered by the Klingons. The 500,000 Cardassians of the 11th Order were all wiped out. Ceros, Delta Quadrant homeworld of the advanced Cerosian species who use pseudo solid holographic generated servants called isomorphs and treat them as slave labor. One is driven insane and murders the crew of a Cerosian ship, Setlik III, Federation colony near Cardassian space that was attacked around 2347 by the Cardassians in an event that became known as the Setlik Massacre. Miles O'Brien was part of the Federation task force who battled the Cardassian invaders, Shah Kari, the Vulcan name for a mythological planet that was the alleged source of all creation. It is also known as Quithu by the Klingons, Vorta Vor by the Romulans, or Eden by people of Earth. Shah Kari was believed by Spock's older half brother Cybok to be located at the center of the galaxy, hidden behind the Great Barrier energy field. According to legend, the planet was where God resided. Instead, it was discovered that the world, which had a barren, unviable surface ecology, was actually a prison for a dangerous entity. 
The planet was named in honor of actor Sean Connery, who was at one point considered for the role of Cybok. Chantal III, planet used in a Temerian mythological tale about the characters Darmok and Jalad who faced off against a common enemy on an island called Tanagra, Shelia. The Shelia star system is the home of the Sheliak, a classification R3 non humanoid species that claims Tau Cygna V, where a group of humans has established a colony. It is not clear which planet or planets the Sheliak occupy in the Shelia system. Sherman's planet, an agricultural world near the neutral zone in the era of Saint TOS that is contested between the Klingons and the Federation. Subject to near catastrophic crop failures and famine conditions, on at least two occasions, the Federation transported massive quantities of grain to Sherman's planet to stave off famine amongst the colonists. Shiva II, location of a Gemahadar breeding facility, Shirilevi, a beautiful world inhabited by the Parallax Colony, a group of free spirits concerned only with love and pleasure. Lawaxana Troy introduced Worf's son Alexander to a holodeck simulation of a parallax mudbath and to experience the laughing hour. Sierra Vi, site of a Federation outpost, Sigma Draconis, a star system with three inhabited worlds, those being the third, fourth, and sixth planets respectively. Each is populated by different technologically primitive culture, however, Sigma Draconis Vi was visited by the USS Enterprise where Captain Kirk chases down aliens who have stolen Spock's brain. Sigma Irani, star system, according to the trader Kivas Fajo, it is the only known source of hytritium. Sigma Iota II, the Iotians established a 1920s gangster society, the result of cultural contamination of a missing book from the USS Horizon. Sigma Planet 14 The women of this planet repaired the Enterprise's computer, and left it with a seductive voice and a giggle. Sakaris, Delta Quadrant home world of the Sicarian species. The planet has a thick quartz mantle used as an amplification device in the Sicarian's advanced spatial trajector transporter which the USS Voyager crew hoped could send them 40,000 light years closer to Federation space. Simperia, Cardassian planet where the Cardassian Liberation Front was headquartered and also one of 18 worlds destroyed by Breen and Dominion forces in 2375. Siri IV, Kiva's Fajo was in possession of a one of a kind by artist Mark Offzell of Siri Ivy, Skagaran Colony, planet in the Delphic Expanse settled by the humanoid Skagaran species. In the 19th century, the aliens abducted a group of human settlers from the northwestern United States to use them as slave labor. Eventually the slaves had an uprising and overthrew their captors to become the dominant species of the planet, Sobras, Kazan planet where rival Kazan sects congregate for talks, Solis V, home planet of the Solari, where two factions have been at war for 15 centuries. In 2265, the Enterprise D takes the deaf-mute mediator named Rivers there to lead a delicate peace negotiation. When Sisko is promoted to captain and wants to tell Cassidy Yates about it, he learns that she is hauling a load of duranium to Solis v Solarian IV, site of a Bajoran terrorist raid, Solis O's III, Marquis Colony in the Cardassian DMZ where CMDR. Sisko forced the surrender of agents and their weapons. Sunna Prime, homeworld of the Sunna species and capital world of the Sunna Solidarity, Southis III, planet mentioned by Professor Galen whose inhabitants, the Satarin species, disdain mysteries. The Satarans waged a decades-long war with a neighboring race, the Lysians, Sukara, a Cardassian planet with thick jungles and the site of a Dominion base. In 2347, Worf and Jadzia Dax undergo a covert mission there to rescue a Cardassian defector who knew the fake identities of founders hiding in the Alpha Quadrant, Spiker, star system also known as Alpha Virginis. There is a Federation colony there which is known for its valuable spick and flame gems, Stamerus, a planet that in 2151 had active slave trade. The Ferengi pirates who hijacked the Enterprise NX-01 were planning to sell captured crew there, Starbase 6 planetside Starbase facility. 
In 2268, the Enterprise D drops off Kareen Bryan on there for transport back to Earth. The name of the planet Starbase 6 was located on was not mentioned. On Stardate 4307.1, Starbase 6 lost contact with the USS Intrepid and sent rescue coordinates to the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 Starbase 11 Planetside Starbase Facility. The primary purpose of the station seems to be the handling of litigation matters. The name of the planet Starbase 11 was located on was never mentioned. Starbase 12 Planetside Starbase Facility in the Haven Gamma 400 system. The USS Dauntless and USS Sovereign use it as a base of operations in their investigation of the Vesuvi event. Starbase 73 Planetside Starbase Facility. In 2365, the Enterprise D stops at the base along route to the Endicor system. Riker bought some Owen eggs here. In 2366, the Enterprise goes there again to investigate a distress call from the Ficus sector. The name of the planet Starbase 73 was located on was never mentioned. Starbase 123 Two Romulan cruisers are detected by Starbase 123 on the way to the Beta Stromgren system to secure Tin Man, Starbase 133 destination of the Enterprise after it leaves the Rana system at the end of TNG episode, The Survivors. Also the location of the static warp bubble trapping Dr. Beverly Crusher in the TNG episode, Remember Me. Starbase 152 Enterprise's destination at end of the episode, Tin Man. Starbase 153 The Enterprise transports an emissary Kaelia, Worf's former mate from Starbase 153 to the Borides system, Starbase 234 Planetside Starbase facility located near Romulan space. It has orbital dry dock stations. The name of the planet Starbase 234 was located on was never mentioned. Captain. Picard goes there to investigate the disappearance of Ambassador Spock, Starbase 515 planetside Starbase with extensive medical facilities. In 2365, Captain. Picard went there to undergo a cardiac replacement. The name of the planet Starbase 515 was located on was never mentioned, Starbase Earhart, Federation Starbase. Location of the Bonestell Recreation Facility where young Ensign Picard picked a fight with a group of Norsicans, one of which stabbed him through the heart. Recalling the incident, Picard refers to the station as, Far Space Starbase Earhart. Starbase Montgomery, Planetside Federation Starbase. The Enterprise D went there for an inspection of the warp core after a series of system failures. Star Station India, destination of the Enterprise D after it left the Darwin Genetic Research Station on Gagarin IV, Stralib, planet whose inhabitants, along with the people of Altec, makes up the coalition of Medina. A political leader of Altec had issues with the rogue freighter Captain O'Connor, Styres IV, a Federation colony needing a rare vaccine from Ligand II, Sulaban Homeworld, a planet in Sector 3641, home of the Sulaban people. The name of the planet is not mentioned. Sulvan IV, planet where Captain Picard was invited to by his associate Dr. Langford to assist in an archaeological dig, Sumiko IV, site of the Cliffs of Heaven in a holodeck program, Serata IV, uninhabited planet where Commander Riker was poked by a poison thorn and later falls comatose from the infection. Topic. See also. List of Star Trek planets A B C F G L M Q T Z